G'day everyone, Professor Maple here. We're back on Maple's Lab. Today, what we're doing is we're revisiting bees. Bees were just added to Minecraft in 1.15, um, and I already did a Maple's Lab video on them, uh, testing things like like how far the sm the campfire can be away from from the the hive or the nest when you you harvest and that sort of thing before the bees will attack, and there are a lot of sort of issues with that video. Um, I put it up because I, I put a lot of work into it and uh, I wanted to release something so people could see what potentially is going on with bees. But the issue is that a lot of my findings in that video are inconsistent with what other people are finding. And I want to make sure that um, we have a bit more of a controlled environment for the experiments we're doing with them. So, because of this, uh, we're gonna we're gonna revisit the whole campfire thing. We're gonna we're gonna look at that a bit more. Most of the other stuff in in there isn't quite true, um, but because I had um, bees inside hives and bees outside of hives and and just bees everywhere. Some of them would get angry, some of them wouldn't, and some of them were from like neighboring hives would get angry. It was just a it's just a mess, and none of that was really scientific inquiry at all. Really, it was it was not um, reproducible, and um, I'm actually kind of no one. I haven't had comments saying, "Oh yeah, maple's lying," and none of these bees are alive anymore because they all attacked me because I, 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 I harvested wrong or whatever. Um, but just just for the sake of setting the record straight, I'm not happy with that last Maple's Lab video. Um, so we're just gonna we're just gonna replace it. We're gonna move on. We're going to um, just I I I tried once I realized because it was uploading as I realized a bunch of those errors were were there that um, uh, that it was not very accurate. So I tried what I could to to label the 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 title and the description and plaster all over everything that I didn't already make. Um, that hey, there it's not maybe the entirely accurate and we'll revisit it. So here, here's us revisiting it because I don't want to waste too much time. I don't want to never touch on it and again and then that misinformation be out there uh, for no one to or for, for, for people to, to rely on more than what the actual information is. I want to set that record straight. So uh, here we go. Alright, so here's our setup guys. Uh, we're going to do this one hive at a time, which is a lot slower and harder to, well, more tedious to test. Uh, but I feel like overall we're going to get more accurate results. So it's either that or we we go back to the chaos where we get inaccurate results again. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to spawn in some bees. We need three to harvest and to fill the hive and all that. We're gonna we're gonna have to wait till these bees come out and keep harvesting this and and the honey level kind of uh, gets to a, a nice high point here. We're gonna do six bees at a time just in case. So when these three bees are done in here, we can just have three more bees go in with pollen and wait. Where oh there you are. Why are you way down there? Hello. <laughs> Hello? Maybe this is a bad idea. <laughs> I would have thought they all would path fine to the flowers. That, okay. All right, well, we'll just keep spawning bees as we need then. That's fine. We don't really need them to stay here. We kind of do need them to stay here, don't we? Hmm. All right, so we've got our we've got our our honey level here. Now, unfortunately, I have let all the bees escape, so we're gonna have to make it nighttime for them to come back. But I think, oh, I'm not sure how this is gonna go here. If we do, I am set midnight. 
I think these bees are broken. I think I think going under under the rock here, back into the void has broken them. So uh, I'm gonna have to get some new bees. Okay, so one, two, three, new bees, new day. Where are they? What, 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 what? No, come back here. Okay, okay. Maybe we have to do this before. If we do that, are they coming back? Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh, this is this is bad. This is this is. Hmm. Oh. If I spawn them at night, do they just go back to the hive? They find the flowers. Yep. Yeah, okay. That one's gone back. This is a good sign. Okay. All right. So we've got our our honey level there. We've got bees in the hive. So now should just mean that we have to uh, we'll use shears bottle or shears will work so now if we harvest this with the bees inside because we, we know they're inside now we're fine okay all right so now now we're gonna do a new day all right they pop out Instead of the flowers, they head towards the void. That's promising. One thing I am noticing just as I, as I wait for these bees to come out is that the particles, the smoke particles for the smoke, smoke particles for the smoke, I know, um, they seem to be going through this block. Whereas the second block here, most of them aren't. A lot of them are getting kind of just stuck here. And then only the odd couple kind of end up coming up through. If any. There were some earlier. Now there aren't. So that's, that's I think, an important thing to, to note. I don't actually know how much effect the particles themselves have on the, on the smoking of the bees. But I think I think that's important to keep track of just in case there. Okay, there it is. Our honey level is high. Uh, oh, we can just do that. Send those bees back to their hive. Please go back home. Can't experiment until you're back home, guys. Ladies, ladies. Oh, they need their butt polish. Okay, there we go. I can't believe I just called pollen butt polish. Alright, there they are in the hive. We harvest this. And we're good. Okay. I'm I am a lot more on board with this version of our results here. That's promising and actually kind of interesting. Now I kind of want to see if we just put another block underneath it. Uh, let's do let's do one of these. No, stop. Yeah, come back here. I found wrangling these bees a lot easier when you actually have a flower in your hand. Although I don't feel like I should really need to have that. Oh, hey. Hey, little lady. Aren't you a cute little bee, huh? Come here. Yeah. 
I guess I'm obstructing the workflow. Map set midnight, let them go on their way. Oh, they're going to collect pollen on the way anyway. All right. All right, so here we go. With a block underneath, do they still get enough smoke to not react to this? They do. They do get enough. Interesting. Okay. All right. That's not what I was expecting, but I'm I'm kind of I'm a, I feel a lot better that we're doing this the proper way, and getting the results here. So we can pop one there. We could also. Um, pop one there and we could probably even just pop this hive is that the same hive no that's not gonna be the same hive this 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 is the hive I want just make sure I don't mix them up there so that should have bees in it if I set the time to day Oh no! Wait, no. They just went back into work, right? So we're gonna we're gonna do our bear test first, and and I'm just gonna keep going this way. I, I'm 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 impressed. I'll come back with the results. All right, guys, we're back, and we've got some results. You can see behind me here. Um, I did up to five blocks up, and that's pretty, probably all we need here. So, uh, as you know, we we did our our block right above these birch blocks are representing where the the hive or the nest was during the test uh, the green blocks indicate uh, well the ones underneath the blocks underneath indicate whether or not we could have a block underneath the hive or the nest uh, and still harvest without angering the bees even with the the, the the campfire underneath and of course the the blocks on the sides the colored blocks those indicate the results of harvesting without a block underneath so just air blocks between the the campfire and the hive or nest so as you can see uh, our first two tests were pretty good you could stick a a solid block between a campfire and a hive or a nest so if you want to um, I'll, I'll put a screenshot on screen if you want to do like a decorative build where you have have uh, beehives and like a, a like a farm setting or something like that and you want to harvest uh, hives that are too tall uh, you can definitely do that you can you can do that without issue as long as all the bees are in the hives I think that is probably what messed us up in the last Maples lab uh, regarding the harvesting the bees is that there were so many bees outside the hives some of them would attack you some of them would pop out and attack you and it was really hard to get an, an accurate result that way. So you can see from, from there, um, we, I put a, a block immediately below the hive or the nest in each subsequent test, and each of those failed. So, so uh, regardless of how many air blocks above the campfire uh, you have, um, if you have two, blo two blocks spaced between the hive or nest and the campfire and one of those is a solid block uh, you're probably not going to be able to safely harvest those without the bees attacking and, and killing themselves in the process or uh, getting damage from the bees uh, while you do it so uh, keep your bees safe don't put a block underneath and uh, more than too high and uh, and expect that that will be fine but uh, really up to, up until you have five blocks up, um, five blocks of air above, one, two, three, four, five, uh, you're, you're fine to, to put a campfire new, underneath. And I guess that makes sense because when you go looking for, for bees at first, uh, they're tucked under the leaf blocks of trees. You don't really have like a... a like they, they could be sitting on the ground like some of the ones I've found or they could be way high up in a, in a tree and and you have to harvest from there so just if you're ever harvesting in a tree uh, count your one two three four blocks uh, and 
above your campfire on the ground and uh, that's as far as you can harvest directly from the bee's nest or if you put a beehive up there for, for whatever reason uh, that you can harvest safely. So anyway, I'm much happier with, with these results. So uh, I hope you have a good now. Oh wait, no, I can't do the intro yet. So I guess at this point, I, uh, next episode, we're gonna investigate uh, uh, whether or not uh, the the hay bale block affects the uh, the range of these. Cause campfire smoke particles, you get much more smoke particles. Like they they go up higher. Uh, the if you have a a hay block beneath the the campfire. So we'll investigate that next episode. Otherwise, have a good now. Have a good later. And we'll see you next time. Goodbye.